Hello guys, you are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through project progress control guys. Okay, so this is a, also a topic which I did not get some kind of proper understanding of the concept guys. Okay, yes. So anyway, I'll be, under, I'll be explaining you whatever I understood till now. Okay, yes. So let us start. So the components of management control of project progress. So basically, whenever your project is progressing, you will be managing some things guys. So those things are of four modules you can say or four components you can say so the first component is a control of risk management activities so assume that when you are developing a project okay so if you need a budget okay and you defined the budget previously and now it might go above it so in that situation you will be taking some precautions and all those things right yes so control of risk management activities refers to the activity taken with respect to the software risk item identified in the contract review and project plan document as well as risk items identified later during the project progress in practice the software development team attempts to reduce the risk by applying synthetic risk management activities okay management controls these effects through reviews of periodical reports and evaluation of progress so this component of a progress control directly contributes to achievement of the project functionality and technical objective so assume that you are creating a project guys so in that project you gave some requirement of some budget okay so in that situation you should always work so work in such a way that the budget will not reach that right yes so you need to plan those things right yes so you are going to control some factors right yes so that is nothing but the control of risk management activities similarly project schedule control okay so it deals with the compliance with the project approved and contractual timetable follow up is based on the milestones in addition to period periodic reports okay so which together enables the identification of delays in completion of a plan activities especially emphasis is given to the customer demands demanded milestones as noted in the contract so management tends to focus control on those critical delays than threatened to substitution okay so basically whenever you work in a company so for each and every work they give they give you a deadline guys so the only reason why they give why they give the deadline is you are going to work for the uh, thing right or else if there is no deadline you will be just uh, sitting idle and you'll be thinking that okay so i'll be doing that tomorrow i'll be doing that tomorrow i'll be doing that tomorrow and that tomorrow will never come guys that's really true okay yes so that is the reason why always you should have a deadline or some kind of a hurry you can say only then you will be getting some interest and you'll be working on things right yes okay so that is the reason why project schedule control so basically you should have a particular project schedule and the uh, and someone should be reviewing it so basically if you are not following it your manager will be asking you right he will be asking you for answers like what is the reason he wants the reasons right yes. so that is the reason why you should always follow that okay similarly project resource control okay so focuses on professional human resources it also deals with the software development and testing facilities typically required by a real-time software system and firmware management exercises control on the basis of period periodic reports of resources used which should be viewed in terms of actual project actual project progress so basically whenever you are building some project which requires a huge resources guys so it might be in terms of human power or computation power so basically in terms of your ram rom and all those things or in terms of the count of humans so basically you need 110 programmers or 100 programmers to build something right so in that way so basically you should have always a record of these things so what is the cost which is happening in terms of electricity so even in that resources so that's also resource right electricity so you should have a record for all these things and you should take care of them or else if they exceed so basically assume that you agreed for a project which inter indirectly you took one lakh to, to do it but you ended up spending more money than that in terms of human resources and electricity so in that situation it is a failure for you right so even the project is a success you gave the project successfully and the client is 100 percent satisfied but which is a slight loss for you right so that is the reason why the project resource controlling is also really important okay similarly project budget control is based on comparison of actual with the scheduled cost the main budget items to control are human resources development and testing facilities purchasing of uh, software that is nothing but uh, 
cost of the out of the shelf software so basically you so in many projects there will be some components which are directly brought bought from some other companies guys so those are called as a cot's guys okay so purchasing of hardware and painting payment of subcontracts so basically assume that you are a software company you are you will develop things but you need some logo for your application so in that situation you will be consulting a graphical designer right so that you can call it as a subcontract you are giving a contract to someone so based on that you need to take care so basically all these things uh, should also be considered guys okay yes so these are the four main uh, components of management of uh, control guys okay yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea right yes so guys please go through the textbook also guys once because i don't know how much up to how much extent the answers are accurate like the in terms of length and all those things so it is always a better option to once go through the textbook also right as we got some time right yes okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture the next lecture will be a review video of this particular unit guys okay yes. so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching